TGIA guys. It's the dark skinned and handsome fella with the hood on. Just finished my 45 minuter. Staying up there on the board. I'm not going to push that old stair stepper any harder than that. 45 minutes as hard as I can work inside of that 45. Uh, I used uh, dark skinned and good looking fellow because I want to talk about that. Growing up as a child, I had so many negative things put in my head about myself, uh, being a short little fat kid, and I can say that because I used to be that. Any of my old grade school people that are watching that remember the kid with the thick glasses and heavy and dorky and not an athlete. Uh, and that's, that's awful laid down on you. And you grow up with those things. And even though who I am today, mentally, that's still back there. That small little four-eyed fat kid is still back there but he's so deep in the closet I know he exists but I still am okay with that I had to come to a point that I had to be okay with who I was and growing and exercising and eating right and getting my mindset right and getting away from negative people and keeping negative things away from me getting out of a negative environment I had to accept who I was but knowing that that was not the finished product Knowing that I'm constantly growing. Knowing that my mind is constantly growing. Here's another thing. I was a horrible reader until four years ago. I probably read on a seventh grade level as a college student. Now I can read and I can, I can read books. I can, I just, these are the things that change. If you constantly focus on changing, so that I can read like I couldn't read at all. I was just a very slow reader. I struggled with big words and I still do, but. With that being said, I never let it keep me down. I always keep focusing. I always keep working. I always keep trying to improve myself. Because I'm never going to be a finished product. I'll never be a finished product. I'm never going to be perfect. I'm never going to be great. But I'm always going to work towards that. Just like a football team last night that won the Super Bowl. They had to make a change. They were an offensive power house two or three years ago and they had to make a change and they had to stay focused and they had to know that as a group slow down offensively defense is going to pick it up we will work towards perfection and they achieved it last night perfection is winning a super bowl what's your super bowl how are you going to win your super bowl by saying i'm okay with where i am or who i am but i'm always going to be working and even when i mess up even when my weaknesses shows up and sets me back, I'm still going to be working. The finished product, I'm never going to be the finished product. But as long as I want to be better, as long as you want to be better, you will be. And you'll never give up on yourself. And believe in a power stronger than you. Have a great environment that keeps you strong. Have a good accountability partner, a coach, and a mentor. Something I'll be talking about later. And knowing your negatives... They always say don't focus on your negatives. No, but you want to make them better. I want to make my procrastination better. I want to make the fact that I'm late sometimes better. So I have to focus on that. I have to know that that's who I am and I have to focus on it, but never accept it is what it is. I am who I am. And I used to be bad at that. Just ask my wife. It is what it is. You get what you get. This is all you're going to get from me. No, I'm going to be better, honey. I'm going to do better. I'm going to make it better next time. As long as you keep doing that, I'm 40 seconds over. TGIA, guys, happy Monday. Uh, exciting things coming. Rock Island class tonight. Uh, a little snow, happy about that. Uh, Peyton Manning, great job. It's always great to see great people do good things. God looks after you. Be a God-fearing Christian. Believe in a higher power than you. I'll see you later. Bye. TGIA.